decided not to be. So uh, we appreciate that. Understand that everybody's probably uh, a little bit bummed out. It's just part of the deal. Everybody was ready today, and we appreciate that. And uh, the ship was great. And uh, we'll do it again, uh, I think, on Saturday. Copy all. And, yeah, we concur. And appreciate your resilience uh, sitting there in the vehicle for us. We got the easy job. Nothing better than being prime crew on a new spaceship. Copy that. All right, some, some great words from Bob and Doug. They're feeling good inside Dragon. They'll be ready to go when we make our next attempt on Saturday. Uh, right now, we're just still waiting for all of the fuel to come off the Falcon 9 rocket. Stage one fuel roughly 20%, and stage two fuel 36%. And so that call right there, we're still at a little over 20% on fuel, RP1 and LOX, liquid oxygen on the first stage, and then at about 26% on RP1 on that second stage. So again, it takes about 40 minutes once the process starts, so we should have right around 30 minutes or so until all that fuel's off. And then... Uh, the crew will get to go to disarm the launch escape system. We'll see that crew access arm swing back into place and they can begin to egress or get out of the Dragon spacecraft. And you heard it live, that weather update of what we violated. We were just 10 minutes off, unfortunately, but again, today was an instantaneous launch. Um, and as John explained, um, it's due to the orbital mechanics and, and making sure that at the time we launch, it will allow us to get to the space station on time and accurately. So you can see on your right screen, Bob and Doug are patiently waiting. They do still have their visors on and still strapped into their seats. The launch escape system is still armed right now as we are offloading fuel and will not disarm until prop offload is complete. And this is just to ensure the safety of Bob and Doug and make sure that they can egress safely from the rocket. And just a reminder today, just this first attempt, we're gonna be right back here uh, looking like on Saturday for attempt number two, Launch America is not going anywhere. <laughs> still, still on the track to get Bob and Doug into space, and get this crew dragging up to the International Space Station. So it's always, it's always good if you're going to scrub. Probably rather scrub for weather than an issue on either Falcon 9 or Dragon. And we weren't tracking any issues with the flight systems throughout our countdown today. Everything passed with leak checks on the hatches and the crew suits. All the communications working great all the teams were ready to go. So as John and I said, always nice to have a little bit more practice and we'll be right <laughs> back at it on Saturday. <laughs> what would this launch be if it wasn't even more exciting to try and launch today and now we have to push it to Saturday? We really gotta build the suspense. <laughs> yes, so. Hey, Dan and Jesse, uh, another thought crossed my uh, mind while I'm watching uh, the diagram here showing fuel 